from a break off from the weak minds they can stay soft you can change lives you create thoughts never waste time you got one shot you got one life better pop off what do you like make a dream job no nine five no mean boss just my life and free thoughts it's it's kind of surprising how a lot of people were talking about steph curry in the beginning of the nba playoffs versus what they're talking about now mm -hmm. um where they were kind of like you know uh steph curry you know, it, now it's it, first it was like, you know, is Steph Curry, is he going to be able to take this team, uh, you know, to the NBA finals? And now it's like, does he have to win an MVP to to be mm -hmm. legendary? It's just the disrespect for Steph Curry. It just amazes <laughs> me to this day. It's yeah. very surprising. Listen, this guy's great. And we all know it's not a secret that he had Kevin Durant on his team right. and told Kevin Durant, take it. It's yours. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll do everything else. I'll make the passes. Um, I'll put everyone in the right position. You make the shots. You make the decisions. I will just be the facilitator, and that's exactly what he did. Everyone knows it. Um, and Kevin Durant won, you know, two with two with the Warriors. So I, I just I don't understand how we can sit here and be like, you know, remember the year that Kevin Durant left and, you know, Steph Curry took over. I mean, he absolutely went bonkers on shots because he was like, mm -hmm. well, I lost like two years of shots. So let me yeah. just put them all in one game. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, listen, it's not just Steph Curry. I, I don't want to just focus on him, but I do think respect is due for Steph Curry. Steph mm -hmm. Curry has made a Warriors team that was, I I don't want to say it was bad, but they weren't great. I mean, they were right. an okay team. They always had like you know a Byron Davis, a Chris Mullen, you know, someone like that who with a slightly bit of a name. Mm -hmm. But he turned that franchise into a dynasty, and I don't know too many players that can do that. Mm -hmm. And he also changed the game of basketball while doing doing this as well. So yeah. It, it's it's remarkable. Um, it, it's it deserves to be credited. If Steph Curry loses this NBA Finals, he's still in the Hall of Fame. And I mean, he's he's still one of the. In my opinion, he's a top ten basketball play, NBA player of all time. In my opinion, because mm. I think he's one of the greatest shooters, one of the greatest passers, someone who has completely changed the game, someone who has shown selflessness and also can be selfish at times when he mm -hmm. absolutely needs to, when the team asks him to, um, we just need to give credit to the Warriors and, and Draymond Green. So underrated. This guy literally scores maybe eight points a game mm -hmm. now in his career. And he's still one of the most dominant defenders and it works. It yeah. just works for that team. I don't know other, another team that has a guy who scores, you know, maybe less than 10 points and is that huge of an impact on that team. I just, I can't think of it. So yeah. um, congratulations to the Warriors and congratulations to the Celtics. I'll leave it to you talking about the Celtics. Cause I think I've taken too much time as it is, mm -hmm. but um, you know, just congratulations to both teams. I mean, it was just amazing what has happened in this playoff. Yeah. So again, I will give you your flowers again of predicting both teams. So Good for you. You didn't go 50%. You, you shot 100. Good for you. Um, I agree with you, though, in terms of like... Steph Curry. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you in terms of Steph Curry not getting the respect he deserves when it comes to yeah. helping turn the Warriors into a dynasty. Um, I mean, I'll give you an example. So um, I think it was 2018 when the Warriors went into the finals against Toronto Obviously, as we know, Kevin Durant tears his ace, uh, his Achilles, doesn't isn't able mm -hmm. to come back for the rest of the playoffs, uh, and then Clay Thompson tears his ACL, so he's out. So the following season, of course, um, Steph Curry basically was on the Warriors team. Warriors team was really bad, and this is also including when uh, Steph Curry got himself injured, and they just shelved him for that whole year as well. So now in 2020, when Steph Curry was able to come back from a full injury. Um, him and Draymond Green took the Warriors to a play-in game and almost got them into the playoffs. This mm. is without this is without Klay Thompson. This is also <coughs> before they got. Um, this is also before they got Jordan Poole. I think at the time they still had D'Angelo Russell. Then what ended up happening is they traded Russell to get Andrew Wiggins, and you know what ends up happening is they they have a better season, of course. And look at where they are now. 
And of yeah. course, I think if you take Steph Curry off that team, they're probably an okay team, but there is something about Steph Curry, his shooting, his inspiration to the other teammates, uh, the way that he basically wears down the defense by running all across the court and you have to guard him. Like I mentioned last week, you can't just pick him up at the three-point line. You have to pick him up at nearly half court because he's known to just pull up from there and he can hit it. He's proven time after time he can. Uh, you know, so definitely Steph Curry doesn't get enough respect in what he's done in this Warriors franchise. Now, and I also hate when some people criticize great players for having good teammates that got them there. Like, so you want them to get there on their own, which we all recognize that this is a team sport, so that wouldn't have happened mm-hmm. to begin with. So I don't know what more they're looking for, but that's another <laughs> argument, I suppose. But I do want to give some kudos to Boston Celtics. They have a rookie head yeah. coach. In January, they were below 500, and mm-hmm. then they just turned on the heat, became top five defensive team. Uh, and not only that, but Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Marcus Smart, Al Horford, they all just clicked. And not only did their defense anchor their offense, their shooting is there. I think what makes the Celtics super scary is that they're a they're a younger version, in my opinion, of like a Warriors type team that has a more tenacious defense, which is outright scary because the Warriors have a team defense that is okay. They can they can get stops if needed, and you know, with Draymond anchoring that defense, it, it they can find a way to stop the ball. Boston Celtics, everyone can stop the ball at some given point in time. And in fact, ball handlers shouldn't have the ball in their hands uh, for too long because they will swarm to the ball and they'll make you pick up your dribble and trap you. And Boston's very good at that. Also, too, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart prove that they can hit shots. And Celtics have players on their bench that can hit shots. Devin White, for example, um, uh, Pritchard. Um, Grant Williams, Robert Williams, who anchors the middle of the defense. So they're kind of like a younger version of the Warriors with a stronger defense. So they're they're a very scary team. And I think, you know, I know that we'll probably get again predictions shortly, but the Warriors um, are going to have their hands full and need to rely on this experience to kind of get them over the top. But, you know, Celtics, though, they went through uh, really stacked Nets team. They went through the mm-hmm. defending champions. They went through the second favorites in Miami. You like Boston is for real in the and this is probably the Warriors' first big test of this entire playoffs, I would say. And w- hopefully we get to see how good they are and let's see if all their weapons, you know, can come through for them. Ooh. 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 Ooh.